Hello, this is your daily devotion for Saturday, October 17th from the Greenbar Valley Church of the Nazarene. Today we'll start off with our Bible verse, which is from the Gospel of John, verse 19, or chapter 19, verses 23 through 27. And here is the word of the Lord. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them, with the undergarment remaining. The garment was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. Let's not tear it, they said to one another. Let's decide by lot who will get it. This happened that the scripture might be fulfilled that said, They divided my clothing among them and cast lots for my garment. So this is what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clophus, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. And that is the word of God. Our article today written by Carol Rittenhouse is titled, We Are All Family. And this comes from verse 26 in our reading. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said, Woman, here is your son. Mary's son is about to die a cruel, senseless death on a Roman cross. Still, in the midst of the pain and suffering, Jesus' concern was for his mother. In that moment, Jesus redefines the word family. In his last hour, Jesus understands that when the biological family cannot be present, we can find that warm, familiar relationships with others. Do you have any friends who are so much like family you could crash on their Christmas Day celebration? Or do you have a friend who would step in no matter the crisis in your life and care for you with the same degree of responsibility a biological family member would? One of the greatest gifts God has given us is the ability to love each other as if we were biologically related. As Jesus gave his mother to God, he was confident that she would be taken care of in the same way that he would have cared for her. Many hymns and choruses we sing in church each week speak of the power of the family of God. When the biological family is unable to be a refuge, God has provided for that void to be filled with those who can love us just the same. The hymn is by John Fawcett, Blessed be the ties that bind. Blessed be the tie that binds our heart in Christian love. The fellowship of kindred mind is like to that above. And a parallel verse comes from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 9. As the Father has loved me, so I loved you. Now, remain in my love. So important words for this time. And that is your daily devotion for Saturday, October 17th. Have a wonderful day.